the secrets out. It's the ultimate book of kid concoctions. Stay tuned because in the next half hour, you'll learn to create crazy, kooky kid concoctions for guaranteed family fun. There's treasure stones, grasshead guys, gooey gunk, spongy balls, and much, much more. Hang on because it's time for kid concoctions. I'm Danita Thomas, and this is my husband, John Thomas. And today we're going to share with you the most complete collection of kid concoction recipes ever created. We've taken all of our wild, wacky, and crazy concoctions and packed over 130 of them into two books, Kid Concoctions Volume 1 and Volume 2. And let's get started with the first concoction I ever made, Gooey Gunk. And in the stores, believe it or not, this sells $5 for four ounces, but we're not going to spend that today. We're going to make 20 ounces for just pennies using household ingredients, things you normally keep around the house. We start right here with just a little bit of white school glue. To that, I'm going to add just a few drops of food coloring and a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to stir this up. And while John's doing that, I have a bowl of water here that I'm adding a little laundry booster to. Just going to mix this until it's dissolved. And although this is going to look like it's magic, it's actually a science experiment demonstrating how two liquids become a solid. So not only are kids having fun, but they're learning about science, art, and mathematics. And saving mom and dad a lot of money as well, which is important, right? right? <laughs> so let's just, ready. let me just put this spoon down. Now watch what happens the instant these two liquids touch each other. Look at that. And now, Danita, do you want to reach in here and grab it, or should I do it? I think you can do it, John. You go <laughs> okay. right ahead. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that too neat? That's right. And who out there wants to try gooey gunk? Any volunteers? Anyone want to try it? Here, why don't you? And the boy in the red shirt, come on out. What's your name, hon? Andrew. Andrew. Okay, we're going to let you try some gooey gunk. I'll put a little apron on you here. Here you go, Andrew. How about a great big glob of gooey gunk? Mm. Isn't that neat? <laughs> How does that feel? It's squishy? Pretty squishy, oh, ooey and gooey. And kids like that type of thing, don't they? Squishy. The squishier, the ooier, the gooier, the better. Yeah. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's go over here and let's whip up a batch of sidewalk chalk. And while I'm doing that, Danita's going to make some super sidewalk paint. I'll get it ready. And once again, look at the sidewalk chalk we have right here. Shapes, colors, and sizes that you could never even buy in a store. But we're not spending a lot of money. We're going to make it once again out of household ingredients. Right here, I have nothing more than a little bit of plaster of Paris. To that, I'm going to add just a little bit of water and a few drops of food coloring. And Andrew, if you want to stir this up for me. Okay. And how we get the shape is we put it inside of a mold, and this is our own original Kid Concoction mold, which is included today with the alternate book of Kid Concoction Kit. How you doing there, Andrew? Good. Pretty good? Well, now this is very easy. Just take the solution, pour it right into the mold, let it sit for about 20 minutes, and voila, you have a piece of sidewalk chalk that writes every bit is what you buy in the store. Look at that. Isn't that cool? and cost just a fraction of what you'd pay in the store. How are you doing with that paint over there, Danita? I'm all ready to go. You ready, ready to make to some sidewalk paint? Yes. Okay, sidewalk paint can sell in the stores for up to $10, but we're not going to pay $10. We're going to do it just for pennies. I have a little cornstarch here. And, Andrew, if you want to squirt a little food coloring in there, and we'll add some water, we're making our own sidewalk paint. That's all there is to it. You just want to stir this up until it becomes dissolved. Go ahead and stir that for me, Andrew. The neatest thing about kid concoctions is, like John said, not only are they learning art, crafts, science, mathematics, they're having fun, and they're learning to measure, which a lot of times this is the first time they've ever used measuring tools before. That's, that's right. So they're important. learning life skills, which right. is very, very important. And when you paint with this, you'll see it looks and feels just like chalk. You cannot tell the difference. Okay, we're going to let them paint with it with our kid concoction brushes. And I especially love these as a mom. These come with the offer today. There are no drip brushes, and as you can see, they don't roll around on the table, which makes it great for cleanup. Very important for mom and dad. Also, take the same solution, put it in a plant mix and it becomes spray chalk right here <laughs> right spray chalk right there take it okay. to the beach and you have a great biodegradable sand paint that's right or you can take it outside if you live where it snows and you have an awesome snow paint you can paint clothing right on your snowman or even the snow angels I know I used to like to make those when I was little <laughs> I think he's having a good time with his pain here. There you go. You know what's neat about this is that we're making commercial quality products. And as parents ourselves, John and I understand that Kid Concoction really does foster creativity in the children. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way for families to spend quality time together. The thing I like about Kid Concoction is 
that it's an easy, relaxed way for me to enjoy some quality time with my kids. It's unplanned time. Um, it can be just at the last second we want to do something fun. I don't have a lot of energy. I've worked all day long. My kids want to do something. Um, it's just open the cabinet, pull something out. The kids pick the recipe they want. We make it and it's no big deal. The number one benefit for my kids is that the finished product is theirs. It's something that they've created, something that they've started from the beginning and finished it and then taken it and played with it. And it's, uh, it makes them feel good. Back. And now we're going to make a really fun concoction, spongy balls and spongy flyers. In the stores, a spongy ball can cost up to $14.95, but we're not going to spend that much here today. We're going to make it out of simple household ingredients for well under a dollar. Here I have a very inexpensive stack of sponges that I've cut into thirds, so the kids are learning about mathematics here. Grab the sponges, give them a great big twist, put them on top of a plastic cable tie, then just pull the cable tie around the sponges. The neat thing about a spongy ball is it's very soft, so it won't break anything in the house. In fact, this is the only ball our kids are allowed to have in the house. Yes, you have a little is. tail here, just snip it off, and that's all there is to it. You have a spongy ball! <laughs> Using the same concept, make a smaller version, attach a rubber band, and you have spongy flyers. And once again, you made them for well under a dollar using household ingredients. <laughs> That's right. These are a lot of fun, wet or dry. You can take it to the beach or pool or even use these things in the bathtub. That's right. And speaking of the bathtub, here's two more of my favorite concoctions, tub time crayons and surprise soaps. Yes, tub time crayons are so popular right now, and so are surprise soaps. Mm -hmm. But we found a way to make it out of nothing more than a grated bar of soap, add a little food coloring, and water to it and makes an awesome dough. And just press in cookie cutters and you get these awesome shapes like we have here. In fact, you can draw with these on the side of the bathtub just like crayons. And if they fall in the tub, they actually float. Yes, they but do. But the neat thing is using the same recipe, we have made surprise soaps. That is soaps that as kids wash with them reveal secret treasures hidden inside. So mom and dad, if you're having a hard time getting the kids in the tub, this is the perfect solution. That's right. And like we said, they sell these in the store. So this is a commercial quality product you've made for just Pennies. But guess what, Danita? These are even better than what you buy in the store because you can say, hey, I made it myself. That's right. With kid concoctions, kids really do expand their imaginations, build a strong sense of pride and self-esteem because they've made these things themselves. As a mom, I love kid concoctions. I love spending time with my children and having that kind of fun. But I'm also a teacher. So I know that the activities that we're doing with Kid Concoctions is really helping my children to develop. They're developing motor skills, they're developing thinking skills, they're developing their imagination and creativity, and I know the value that's going to have for them. What I love most about that is as a mom, I'm seeing my kid's smile just grow and his self-esteem build as he's doing this. It's wonderful to watch. <laughs> everybody. Who out there would like to help us make some ice cream? Ah, uh, how about you in the yellow shirt? Come on up. You like ice cream? Yeah. What's your name, hon? My name's Christine. Christine? Okay, Christine. Come on up. I'll get Hi, you Christine. Ice. How are you? Good. Ready to make shake and make ice cream? Yeah. Well, guess what? We're not going to spend hundreds of dollars on an ice cream maker in the store. We're going to make our ice cream out of, once again, household items, two zip bags, and some common kitchen ingredients. Christine, if you just want to hold this bag for me, please. We're going to pour in nothing more than just a little vanilla, a little bit of sugar, and some milk. Have you ever had a homemade ice cream before? Mm-mm. Oh, well, you're in for a treat then. This is the second bag. We have just ice in here. And Christine, if you want to grab that rock salt there, sprinkle it inside this bag. We use this so that the ice gets really, really cold inside here. There we go. That's a great science experiment because it's cooling the ice to turn this into ice cream. Right. We'll just drop that bag right in there. And Danita, if you could seal that up for me. Sure and guess what we're going to do with that bag? Shake it. That's right. We're going to shake it because it's called shake and make ice cream. Just grab the bag and start to shake it. Can you grab onto that? Yeah. There you go. Shake it for me. And we'll be back in just a few minutes to see how delicious our shake and make ice cream is going to be. And coming up, we're going to share with you even more top secret recipes. But first, here's your opportunity to order cake concoctions for your family. We'll be right back. Imagine taking this and this and doing this to create goofy, gooey gunk. Or taking this and this and doing this to make a super spongy ball. It's all here in the most complete concoction collection ever compiled. The Ultimate Book of Kid Concoctions, Volumes 1 and 2. Over 130 commercial quality kid concoctions are easy to make for foolproof family fun. The illustrated recipes are easy to follow and just use common household ingredients. 
so you can create dozens of crazy concoctions for just pennies a toy. Treasure stones can cost up to $25, but surprise, you can make them for under 50 cents. And these grass head guys won't cost $10. You concoct them for less than $1 each. The kid concoction books are like having an entire toy store right on your bookshelf. From water balloon yo-yos to sidewalk chalk. From fruity lip gloss to a tasty shake and make ice cream treat. Created by parents for parents, Kid Concoctions is the ultimate authority for super top secret recipes. When I'm using my hands, I'm all thumbs. But when it comes to using Kid Concoctions, it really helps me out and my grandkids love it and brings us closer together. Every time I open that book, it's hours of relaxed family fun. Kid Concoctions lets me be a hero to my kids. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Danita Thomas, and this fun guy over here is my husband, John. And Christine's been out here helping us make some ice cream, and I think it's just about finished. I'm just squeezing in the last little bit of vanilla ice cream. And I should say, you don't have to just make vanilla ice cream. You could make chocolate ice cream. You could even add fresh fruit and make fruit-flavored ice cream. But now it's time for the fun part, the taste test. Are you ready for that? I sure okay, am. Okay, let me just put a little cherry on top for you to top it off. And there you go. Thanks. And now tell me what it tastes like. How does it taste? Mm. Do you like it? it? It's delicious, it's so isn't it? Nice. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you can enjoy this back at your seat. We're going to let you go back now. Take your ice cream with you and enjoy it. Okay? Thanks a lot, Thank Christine. You, Christine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Want to see some more kid concoctions? Okay, Let's yeah. Go. Okay. How about our Walk of Fame stone? This can sell in the stores for up to $25, but we're going to show you how to make it for a dollar out of nothing more than a little quick setting cement and a cardboard box. That's right. And Danita, I should also say that Walk of Fame stones aren't just for kids because if you look right here, I've made a Walk of Fame stone for you, Danita. For me. Just, just for, for you. Me. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, on to another concoction. How about fruity lip gloss? This is really a girl's all time favorite, and wait to hear what it's made out of. Nothing more than a little vegetable shortening and some powdered drink mix. We put them in plastic containers here and decorated them with stickers. We've even made a necklace out of this one here. It's a lot of fun, and all you have to do with this is make it quick and easy. It becomes an all-time favorite. This one, we made at a slumber party with our daughter, and all the girls loved it more than anything else at the it party. It was a huge hit. <laughs> and speaking of powdered drink mix, right here, Danita, I have scratch and sniff watercolors. Scratch the grapes. The grapes smell like grapes. The oranges smell like oranges. But once again, oh, regular household ingredients, a little drink mix, and some water. We'll just stir it up with our brush, and it paints just as good as any watercolor paint that you could buy in the store. And that's so, our Kid Concoctions brush. That's working. right, our handy-dandy Kid Concoctions brush. There are a lot of benefits with Kid Concoctions. You'll save lots of money. The kids are going to have a lot of fun. And while they use these secret recipes, they're being creative and building their self-esteem. And what a great way to spend quality time together with your kids. Also, making concoctions is a valuable learning experience. Over the past few years, John and I have talked to schools all across the country, and we show that with Kid Concoctions, learning can really be fun. In fact, teachers all around the country are using Kid Concoctions right now in their very own classrooms. Take a look. When I say the word Kid Concoctions, their face just beams, the smile hits their face, and they're ready to learn. Our afternoon was a Kid Concoctions afternoon. I put them into their different groups. I assigned different roles. One was the reader, one was the measure, one was the mixer. You could see the teams just working together to get one product. One group made bubble paint, which they could learn about the surface tension of a bubble. One group used sidewalk chalk to either write their math facts, to write their spelling words. Another group made fruity Play-Doh, where they had to measure, they had to roll it, they had to touch it, they smelled it. Another group made Oceans in a Bottle, where we're studying about weather, you're studying about the water and an ocean. So the Kids Concoctions Day was terrific. They had a wonderful time, and they were learning and probably did not even know it. Kids Concoctions works tremendously across the curriculum. You can tie art in with science, math, reading. You can tie it all in together and do it in one lesson. It's not just, here is math time, here is science time. The number one reason to use Kids Concoctions is because it's fun, it's easy, and it's a great way to learn. With expensive store-bought toys, kids can get bored very quickly, but not with Kid Concoctions, because there's over 130 easy-to-do, top-secret recipes, so the fun never ends.
That's right. It's like having a toy store right on your own bookshelf. Yes, it is. So why don't we take a look at some of our wild and wacky concoctions? Let's take a look. This is one of my favorites, Grass Head Guy. These sell in the store for up to $9. We make them out of nothing more than a woman's nylon, a little soil and seeds, and you can decorate a container for their outfit. And what I like the best is you get to give them a haircut. Give them a haircut. Uh, well, let's move on to our next project, Anita, and this is a great one, Fantasy Fossils. And you know how expensive fossils can be in the nature type stores? Well, this is made of nothing more than just a little plastic your Paris, a little sand, and a little water. That's all there is to it. Simple household ingredient. That would be a neat science project. That's right. And speaking of science projects, take a look right here, our Ooh. instant volcano. <laughs> and this is actually two different concoction recipes from the book put together. Our paper mache recipe and our volcano recipe. Wait till you see this. Look oh, at that. Look at that erupt. Isn't that cool? That is really that is neat. too neat, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. You know, another kid's favorite is magic candles. These are real popular in the stores right now. You can buy the kits up to $15. Expensive. We're I not going to spend $15. <laughs> what you do is take old candles around the house, shave them, let the kids layer them in neat containers, and they've made their very own magic candles. And very, very inexpensive. And remember, all of these secret recipes are yours when you get Kid Concoctions. Kid Concoctions is for kids of all ages and every member of the family. In fact, Anita, I have a recipe for guess who? The family dog. That's right, the family dog. Right here we have doggy treats, and they're made of, once again, household ingredients. A little flour, some Parmesan cheese, an egg, a little water, and the dogs absolutely love these treats. In fact, not only dogs like these treats, but I like these treats as oh, well, you like Danita. The You're going to eat the dog. Very good, very, very good. Here, you want a treat? No, thank Are you. Are you sure I think it's a treat? With kid concoctions, you do have fun twice. It's fun to make with, with the kids, and then they get a chance to play with it, and it's stuff they really will play with. My daughter is still playing with her sparkle bottle, even though we've made it months ago. And for a toy that you buy at a toy store nowadays, if they're still playing with it a week later, you'd be lucky. The best thing is that you're doing it with your kids, and you're just having a ball. It's something you can do in the spur of the moment, and everybody has fun. When the kids complete a recipe that they do, they are, they're real proud of it. And the first thing they do when dad comes home is say, look what I made. And then they show it to all the neighbor kids. And so yeah, they're definitely very proud of what they made. My daughter loves the stuff we've made with the Kid Concoctions book more than anything we bought in the store because she takes such a pride in knowing that she made it. And that just makes me so happy seeing the joy in her eyes of something that she created that she can play with. The thing I like best about Kid Concoctions is it's things that my kids can do and make and be proud of when they're done. Welcome back. And as you can see, my big kid is playing with another one of his favorite concoctions, a water balloon yo-yo. That's right. Made of nothing more than, once again, household ingredients, a balloon, a little water, a little air. Take a rubber band, cut it in half, tie one into the balloon, tie a loop in the other end for your finger, and you have a water balloon yo-yo. And believe it or not, I saw these selling last summer at shopping mall carts for $3, but we made it for pennies. <laughs> Why, well, I take care of this troublemaker here. Here's your chance to order cake concoctions filled with over 130 top secret fun wild and wacky recipe. Imagine taking this and this and doing this to create goofy gooey gunk. Or taking this and this and doing this to make a super spongy ball. It's all here in the most complete concoction collection ever compiled. The Ultimate Book of Kid Concoctions, Volumes 1 and 2. Over 130 commercial quality kid concoctions are easy to make for foolproof family fun. The illustrated recipes are easy to follow and just use common household ingredients. So you can create dozens of crazy concoctions for just pennies a toy. Treasure stones can cost up to $25, but surprise, you can make them for under 50 cents. And these grass head guys won't cost $10. You can cock them for less than $1 each. The Kid Concoction books are like having an entire toy store right on your bookshelf. From water balloon yo-yos. To sidewalk chalk. From fruity lip gloss. To a tasty shake and make ice cream treat. Created by parents for parents, Kid Concoctions is the ultimate authority for super top secret recipes. When I'm using my hands, I'm all thumbs. But when it comes to using Kid Concoctions, it really helps me out, and my grandkids love it and brings us closer together. Every time I open that book, it's hours of relaxed family fun. Kids Concoctions lets me be a hero to my kids. Wonderful. You know, 
one of the neatest things about Kid Concoctions is that it can be easily adapted to all sorts of holidays and special occasions. Imagine a Kid Concoctions birthday party. Wow, you would be the envy of every kid on the block. Well, we took our cameras to Kansas City, Missouri to see how Kid Concoctions transformed a simple birthday party into the event of the year. were too cool. John's especially proud of the treasure stones because he created that one himself. It's a Kids Concoctions original. That's right, and although it looks like a rock, when you break it open, there are secret treasures hid inside. Look at that. Isn't that too neat? And once again, in the stores, these cost $24.95, but we made it out of household ingredients. Just a little flour, some water, some salt, some sand and our secret ingredient, Danita, used those. coffee grounds. Used we just want to pour that right in there. Little recycling going on here. Great, great recycling project. Just stir all of this up, and in a few minutes, it turns into this our treasure stone dough. Make it into a ball, just a little indentation. And Danita, do you want to select a secret treasure sure to go I in will. here? Now, these could be little treasures the kids already have around the house, or you can buy inexpensive ones at the party store. That's right. Just pack all your treasures inside the dough, seal it up, and then you can let it air dry or bake it in the oven and in just a few minutes you have a treasure stone. Those are fun. We also saw funny putty at the party and we're going to show you how to make it right here out of nothing more than a little school glue. We're going to add some food coloring to this. Now this can sell in the stores for up to two dollars but we're going to make it here today for just about three cents. That's right and we're making double the quantity that you would buy in the stores. Okay I think it's just about mixed up and you just want to pour this into some liquid starch. Let it sit for a moment and knead it, and when it's all finished, this will be your funny putty. Isn't it neat? It's very neat. <laughs> it bounces Too like cool. a ball, and the neat thing I like about it is, just like when I was a little girl, it picks up the newsprint comics. I identical to what you buy in the store, only it costs pennies. Yes, it does. Kid concoctions are so great because you have fun twice. Once while you make it, and once again while you play with it. And you're building special memories as you and your child do it together. The children are very excited when we say we're going to do something from Kid Concoctions. Probably the biggest problem we have is deciding how much time we're going to use to do it because they would be happy to spend all day doing a project after project after project. My children love actually doing the creating. They love playing with it afterwards. They love the whole process and it just makes me feel good that they're having a great time. We can have a good time together and everyone's happy and smiling by the time we're done and it just makes for a wonderful way to spend the day. That's one of my favorites. I love this one. You know, we're almost out of time, but look at all we've created today. Gooey gunk, treasure stones, spongy balls, sidewalk chalk, shake and make ice cream, and even fruity lip gloss. But what about all the concoctions we didn't have time to make? What about the ocean in the bottle, the cool crayons, the sparkle bottles, the sandcastle clay, the magic bottle John, before paint. you go on, there's over a hundred more secret recipes, and we just don't have time today. Well, I guess you're just going to have to order it for yourself and find out how much fun you can have while learning and creating with just a few household ingredients and our top secret recipes. And think about all the money you're going to save. But best of all, you're going to be creating wonderful memories with your children that will last a lifetime. Thanks for watching. I know you'll be so happy with Kid Concoctions. You'll just have to try it. Kid Concoctions really is like having an entire toy store right on your bookshelf. So call now and start concocting tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Come on, everybody. Let's keep let's concocting. Let's <laughs> 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 be careful. Put it right back in the